What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new tutorial with the new Wix code. So I finally got my beta, um, They, uh, I filled out my application, did all that, they granted me access, awesome, pretty sweet. So now I have Wix code equipped in my editor. Um, now, obviously this isn't unleashed to all of you yet, it's not officially out and released, uh, however, if you would like to sign up to be part of the beta testing and get access to the beta, I'll drop the link down in the description somewhere below, and you can go check that out, check that out and get your version. It's awesome. It's cool. Um, but in today's video in particular, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a database collection uh, in Wix code. Uh, now, there's a ton of moving parts to uh, like Wix code in general, not just the database I'm talking about, but just Wix code. So I'm going to be bringing you guys tons of tutorials on Wix code because honestly, as soon as it's released, you guys are going to want to know how to use it and you guys are going to want to start using it. So um, let me just hop right into it. Before we get into that though, really fast, guys, if you haven't signed up yet for my weekly Wix tips, go to wixmywebsite.com or click the link in the description below. Hop on this email list, it's helping people out. Don't forget I have my blog and my forum here that are really helpful to people, a great resource. And finally, I have a workshop, a free workshop, this Saturday uh, at 10 a.m. Pacific time and it's on building a killer landing page and you guys can learn tips and tricks with design in Wix and how to you know offer like a free ebook a free PDF anything like that and just build a good looking landing page so you guys could go to workshops and sign up for that now let me show you how to create a database collection here in Wix code so first to even activate Wix code you have to go up here to tools and then you have to press developer tools so now when you actually get Wix code, the beta, and when they release it out into the general public, this is where it'll be and you'll have to turn on developer tools. So your properties panels over here. So if you click on an element, this is going to be for your like JavaScript uh, type information and you can work with that. I'll get into that in a later tutorial. To be honest, I have to learn more of uh, the properties management, all of that myself. Um, but we'll hop into that later and then you'll see tools the hidden elements um, so you can view all of your hidden elements and that is on as well however over here you'll see your stripe site structure pops up and you'll see these are all of your pages uh, and then you'll see light boxes it pops up your light boxes as well and then you'll see a few options public backend and database now today we are going to be working with database so if you press database you'll see add new collection so databases are cool because um, they actually store information in them on your site and can be used at any point on your website Now I know that's a bit confusing and I'll kind of touch on that with different things because I'm going to teach you a lot of things with databases But for example, one of the things you could use a database for is to collect a user input form So when someone fills out a form you can have it go into the database and then you could collect that information not only that but you can even use that information to display somewhere else on your website. I know that might be hard to wrap your head around, I understand it, but I will get into that in one of our upcoming videos here because the next video I'm gonna show you guys is how to create a user input form. And this, this is phenomenal. Wix code has made this much better for all you people looking to create custom forms, all of that. Wix code made this so much easier for you. Um, so I'll show you guys that in the next video. But to create a new database, you have to add new collection. And then once you do that, you'll get the whole introducing database collections. You can see store all of your content in the cloud, like images, text, and more. Uh, add as many custom fields as you mean, so you can add as many custom fields as you want. Uh, you can connect content from your collections to elements on your site. I'll kind of explain that again with the input forms. And you can set who can view, edit, and add content to your collections. So this is very cool. So now members could even add content to your collections. They could add, make their own profile pages. Um, it, it's very cool. So I'll get into that uh, again in some upcoming videos. For now, let's start with the basic and show you how to actually create the database. So then you'll press start creating. Now you're gonna need to give this database collection a name. Um, for mine, uh, you'll see why I'm doing this 
in a second, uh, not in a second, in upcoming videos. But I'm going to name it uh, Wix Web Design Leads. And then what is this database collection for? Um, it's a form input because I'm going to be using this as a form. Now this is an important part guys, because when you click this, this will determine um, what your database is for. So is it for site content? Anybody can see the content in this database. Is it a uh, form input? Anyone can submit data to this form collection. So you, that that's, you know, for a, a a form on your website, anything like that. User generated content, anyone can view the content, but only members can post. Is it content for members, so only members can see this type of content? Is it a form input from the members, so only members could submit into the form? Is it private data, so only the admin can access this collection? Or is it custom use, create custom permissions for the collection? Um, all of them you can see are pretty flexible. Now, I could either go with form input or private data, but I've decided after thinking about what I'm using this for, I'm gonna go with private data. Um, and again, I'm gonna show you the form I'll create for this in the next video. But I'm gonna go with private data and collection name, uh, okay. You have to keep it lowercase, guys. Wix web. Alrighty, and there we go. So no no spaces in your collection names, and uh, that's due to some of the JavaScript coding and stuff because it doesn't read spaces well, and then it'll mess up the code somewhere on the website, and then you'll have an issue. So make sure you don't put any spaces, dashes, numbers, that kind of thing. Keep it just words, and uh, you can you can see you could have uppercase letters, um, but just. Don't do any spaces, anything fancy, numbers, dashes, none of that. And then you'll simply press create collection. And then, bam, your collection is created and this is your database. Now you can see up here, this is your sandbox database. So anything you edit in here uh, will not, you know, like really take effect onto your, uh, it won't affect anything on your website uh, like you can add uh, Fields on here, but nothing's actually going to take effect until you edit the live database up here And when you edit the live database, that's as it says live So those changes will happen uh, Whatever you do in there will take immediate effect on your website um, But that is where you would edit the live database. This is your sandbox um, before you were not allowed to, so when Wix code released their beta, I wanna say about a week and a half ago, you they didn't have the option for deleted fields. So you could create a field right here, but you wouldn't be able to delete it. So that was kind of you know frustrating to some users, but thankfully Wix code is in beta, so uh, they have a special forum for everybody that's, uh, you know, got the beta, and they have a s section that says, you know, changes, updates, stuff like that, new features. And they added the deleted fields. So now you can delete fields on and in your database. So if you make a mistake or you don't want a certain field that you added, it's fine. All you have to do is delete the field. Now, guys, title. This is a default field in your database. Uh, you can choose to use that or you can choose to not. Um, you can see right here, you can't move to trash. It, it's just a default field that your database has. But you can begin adding different fields along the line up here um, after title. Again, you don't have to use this, but it is a default field, so you can't get rid of it. Um, it's just that initial you know, square <laughs> in the database. Um, but this is how you create your database. Uh, you can see you can add rows. To add a field, you would simply click that plus button. Um, I don't need to add a field right now. I'll explain that and show you guys the fields I'll add when I create my form. But that is how you create your first collection in your database here in Wix code. Guys, if this video helped you out, drop me a like down below. It's much appreciated. Comment if you have any questions at all. If you think this whole new Wix code thing is pretty awesome because I'm telling you, uh, Wix code is going to solve a lot of your answers that you guys ask me on a daily basis. So 
drop a like if just for that. Um, comment if you think that's awesome, like I said, and subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert for some more awesome Wix content coming up. As I said, you're not gonna want to miss like the upcoming videos because I'm, it's gonna have a lot to do with Wix code. Of course, I'll mix in you know regular editor stuff because I know not everybody has Wix code. But when you guys do get it, because you will, it will be released, you're going to want to come back and reference these videos for sure because they will help you out because Wix code, as awesome as it is, can be a little bit more confusing than just working in the editor. So thank you guys for watching this video and I look forward to helping you guys out and seeing you in the future. Don't forget to get on that email list, go check out the blog, forum, and check out that workshop. Get signed up for this Saturday. It is free. Thank you guys again. I'll catch you on the next one.